Welcome back to Time Out with GC. Last week we spoke to Edris Burton and Nasif Morris. We're chatting about football development, uh, Vision 2022 and so many other things. This week I've got two gentlemen joining me in the studio. They are brothers and they go by the surname Byrne. Guy and Jordan Byrne, welcome to Time Out with GC. Good evening, thank you very much for having us. You were here the last time, so we'll make That's him correct. a guest. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll make him a guest. <laughs> now the vice chairman of Lenik and so many other hats he wears. And Guy is also the chairman of Lenik Football Club. Uh, Jordan, your role. I mean, the Byrne family is synonymous in football. Uh, their grandfather, Budgie Byrne, played for England, Crystal Palace. Uh, their father, Mark Byrne, there's such a hierarchy when it comes to football. You both played football, but now you find yourself in administration. Yeah, it's correct. Uh, we had to... Uh not had to, we hung up our boots voluntarily at certain points in our life. Um, took on a different role, um, continuing the legacy of that name that you mentioned, the Burn name. Uh, big boots to fill, I think. We can That's both agree on that. But happy to be here, learning, forging our own path as we go. Excuse the pun, but that legacy burns very deep. Guy, it indeed. it's challenging enough to run a football club. You both have been thrown in into the deep end because, as your pops would have it, you've got to sink or swim. Absolutely. I don't think he would, he would have it any other way. Um, I think over the years, growing up with him as the father in the household, on the field, wherever we were, it's been just consistency of this is what, how we do things, this is the standard that we uphold, this is it. Now it's your turn to take over the reins, the two of us and go with it and make sure that we keep a, to the legacy going and make sure that we keep to the standards and uphold all the, 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 the excuse me, all the, the systems and, and practices that he's put in place thus far. Talking about those systems, I mean, football as we know it, in South Africa alone, in Cape Town alone, so many talented players. But where do they go? Where do they find that place where you can hone their skills? And this is where the Hellenic and Mark Byrne High Performance School comes in. So just a quick one on, I mean, the amount of players we had at our trials this year. I mean, it was, it was unbelievable. And to see how many players are, are wanting that opportunity and, and will travel as far as they can to get to us. And uh, it's amazing to see. Um, the union between the high performance and Hellenic at this point is, it was birthed sort of as viewing the footballer as as a whole not necessarily just someone who goes onto the field puts their boots on and then when they're done they're done um high performance chooses to focus on the physical side the football side the physical side as well as the mental side so we are trying to hone the individual the whole player as opposed to the two or three hours you see the player per week and hopefully from there we can progress them through the club structure and who knows where they can go from there my guests are Guy and Jordan Byrne. They are brothers uh, from the Byrne family. They, they run Hellenic and also the Mark Byrne High Performance School. Uh, Guy is the chairman and Jordan the vice chairman and also in charge of the High Performance School. Uh, Guy, uh, I heard Jordan saying about how many kids came to, to trial. I mean, every parent believes their kid is going to be the next Guy Byrne. Jordan <laughs> Byrne. They believe they're going to be the next pro player. Hellenic has played LFA football. It, it, there's been a resurgence of Hellenic because Correct. it went quiet for a very long time. And then you had LFA, you had Castle League, you had uh, ABC, ABC um, exactly Tepe franchise, yeah. and you decided to take that away and go only youth development. That's correct, yeah. We, um, we started off in uh, tw early 2012, um, getting the brand back, getting, getting Hellenic re-established re in, in Cape Town and South African football. Um, we think that, or we not think, I think most people know that it is a very historic brand name the in Greek football, gods. the Greek gods, yeah. the history, the rich history and heritage that it has over the years in its, in its various shapes and forms. And um, under the guidance of, of, of Mark and um, the various people who've been part of the club over the years, we've got to the point where we are now, where we find ourselves sort of done almost a 360, where we started with development. We, as you mentioned, we worked our way up through the LFA. We, had, we did the season of SAB, two seasons, Matsepi. We sat after that and we said, what is our real focus? What are we good at? What do we know that we can do? And let's focus on that. There's plenty of other clubs out there from amateur level, from community clubs to semi-pros to professional clubs. We've got, there's enough around and about us to make sure that we just, if we just focus on what we do and we know we can do it well, that's what we should be doing. 
So when we talk about the trials and things like that, obviously this year it's been, or in the last year and a half now, I suppose, it's been very trying times, you know, for everyone in every aspect of life. But uh, we know, as most people do, that especially with kids, they need that outlet. You know, it's been a challenging time for schools. They need that sporting, whatever their sport is. Obviously, in our case, the kids want their football. They want to get out and play. We had... I mean, we, we advertised and we even, you know, all the regulations and stuff stipulated that there's only going to be a certain amount of kids that we're allowed in under all the guidelines and making sure that all the protocols are adhered to. And we still had upwards of uh, over two weekends, we probably had easily upwards of 800 kids. And you I whittled mean, it down too? She, it's a challenge in itself. Um, we brought a few, uh, well, a larger selection back to have a second look. Obviously, it's very difficult in, in trials in, under normal circumstances, but with the challenge that we're facing at the moment with space and all those type of things, distancing and sanitizing and all the challenges that come with it, we had to, have a, we had to give them a fair chance. You know, it's very difficult. You, you bring your kid down from wherever you come from and they get 15, 20 minutes and it's not a true reflection, not a fair reflection on them. So obviously, it's a challenge, but we made sure that we gave those that we did identify a second, a second looking and from there we selected across the age groups where we needed to fill the teams. What are you looking for? What type of players are Lenny and the Mark Byrne High Performance School looking for? Well, I think it's, that's, that's tough in and of itself. And I think we rely on our coaches, who we have also selected specifically because we trust their abilities. We rely on them to sort of pick specifically for what we need, I mean, a specific system that we play, specific characteristics of players. Um, and we are fortunate enough to have 800 to choose from, and perhaps we only take four, five, six. So I can't give you specifics of what each coach is looking for or what position is going to be filled, but general commitment and the desire to learn and, and the ability, obviously, it goes without saying, which we identify, coaches identify. Um, yeah, there's a certain mold, there's a certain characteristic of player that Hellenic look for. And as I say, we trust our coaches to identify that in and amongst a massive group of them. So, The high performance school, also, I'll, I'll get back to you quickly from the Hellenic side. But from the high performance school, you're looking at children who have the ability, parents bring their kids, and you have a kid that is talented. Where do you take them to through the high performance school? So as I mentioned earlier, the football side of it, as my father, as our father's always said, that's the easy part for him. He knows what he's doing. He's done it for 35 plus years. Um, the coaches that we have around us are of a top top level as well. So that part's the easy part. The fit, the fitness side of it, also. I mean, we've got top physios and coaches that work with us, fitness trainers. Then the, the third facet of it is the mental side. And I think that's been the latest addition to our coaching, our coaching structure. Understanding the, the, the cultural backgrounds and the social backgrounds, and specifically in this country, that is, is, you can't ignore it. You can't. So for us, the full approach in terms of working with them on the field, making sure that they're ready for this, the training session, that they're ready for the season ahead, they're ready for a career in football ahead, and worst case scenario, they're ready for a, f a career outside of football. Um, Personalised one-on-one -on -one training, we offer um, smaller groups. We work very closely with um, a club overseas in Germany, a coach overseas who is on the, the forefront of different technologies that are being used in Europe, um, different philosophies that are being used. So implementing that here, it looks very different to traditional coaching styles and what has been done. And I think a lot of the parents, a lot of the players enjoy that. And uh, yeah, I think that the success speaks for itself. My guests are Jordan and Guy Byrne, they the chairman and vice chairman respectively of Hellenic Football Club, the Greek Gods. Uh, Guy, let's get back to you, Hellenic, and we spoke about the name, we spoke about the resurgence of the Greek gods. There's been so many success stories too uh, from Hellenic and the Mark Byrne High Performance School. Absolutely. Um, if we just take one example in the last week now, we've just seen Craig Martin reach his 100 caps for 
uh, Cape Town City. I mean, and also was included in the Afcon and, squad. And absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, that's that's a fantastic story in itself. I mean, there's a lot others, but there's one, you know, you look back, it's been maybe three years since he, three or four years since he played for us. And the level, the way he stepped up, each and every opportunity that he's gotten to take at Cape Town City through their coaches and through their setup, it's fantastic to see him getting that opportunity, not only at, at the club level, but now in the South African setup as well. So, I mean, we've got Rushan Daruk, who used to play for us. Um, he's now obviously at Mamelodi Sundowns, when fire Maritzburg United. Fantastic player, fantastic person. Suffered terribly with injuries um, in his in his earlier career. He was overseas as well. Came back, had to sort of restart almost in a way. You know, he'd had that little bit of a taste of it. It didn't work out the way he had hoped or wanted it to work out. Came back, started again, put in the hard work, worked through his injuries, took the time to make sure that he was ready and got the opportunity. And we look at him today, another one also on the brink or in the, the SA setup. My guest star Guy and Jordan Byrne, the chairman and vice chairman of Hellenic Football Club. We'll take an ad break. We'll continue our conversation with them also. We chat to Edris Burton where we'll touch on local football and UEFA Champions League. We'll see you after the break.